Hello everyone, welcome to part 157 of advanced e-com series in Laravel 8. So we will continue working on the shipping method, uh, the advanced shipping method that we have started in last video. And in this video, we will finish it up. And uh, we have seen that we able to add the shipping charges, weight by shipping charges for all the countries. And we can update uh, like for 0 to 500 gram, we can add the separate shipping charge for 501 to 1000 gram, we can add the separate shipping charge like so on. And now uh, we are going to integrate this one at the front end and here uh, we can see uh, it is uh, showing the issue if we will uh, reach the uh, checkout page then it, it is showing the uh, error here because uh, now the shipping underscore charges column does not exist at all because that column we have already removed and we have added the other columns uh, in last video that we have added the other columns uh, that are the having the shipping rates shipping charges uh, weight by shipping charges like for 0 to 500 gram like I have told you that every column contains the separate shipping charge according to its weight so we need to have this one here uh, so for that uh, we need to do few things uh, to update this one first of all uh, we are going to update the user car items function and that is located at the product model I think uh, here user car items not here uh i'm going to open the card here it is okay so if we will open the press controller and if we will go to the checkout function this function we are going to update here uh and here we can see the user card items function and this one i am I want to see that what brings up here so i'm going to uh, see here uh, what is coming I go and print R dollar item. I am checking this uh, because I want to check the weight and I want to see the weight is actually coming or not. And I will move this one down below this one like this. Okay. So now see refresh. Uh, so product weight is not here so we are going to add the product weight here so that's why uh, we are going to update this one here i'm going to add the product weight that is required now so that we can calculate the total weight and here as well now we can check see the product weight is now coming so uh, product weight will come for every product okay so here i'm going to remove this one now we are having the weight here so we want to calculate the total weight here total weight first of all we will make it zero then we are going to add uh, the total weight we are going to check the weight of the product so product weight i'm going to take it like this product weight and uh, dollar item it is under product and then product weight will come like this okay so after that uh, we are going to sum up total weight here like total weight plus product weight like this okay so first of all we are going to check here total weight is coming fine or not total weight die and here see for two products it's 700 it is fine so we can see here as well the weight for the products uh, see we have already updated in the last video uh, this is having the 300 weight and the another product that we have added in card is having the 400 weight so so sum up of both these is 700 so 700 is coming fine so we are having the total weight now total weight is 700 and uh, we want to get the shipping charges of 700 gram 
and that will be of uh, like uh, for india so for what is the shipping charges for india and here like if i will add the india here so shipping charges for 700 gram is the 200 because it is between 500 to 1000 grams so it is 200 so uh, we will we must have 200 here but here right now shipping charges is wrong it is showing it will be show uh, here uh, 100 we are going to check once see i'm going to refresh and you can see uh, the shipping charges uh, uh, okay so right now it is not coming because the shipping underscore charges column does not exist at all okay so we are going to modify the shipping uh, charge uh, uh, function here so not only country we are going to pick the total weight here to calculate the right uh, shipping charge so here we are going to uh, have the total weight as well and this total weight we are going to pass we are going to pass from there see we have already calculated the total weight and this one we are going to pass from here okay like this okay so we are going to pass this total weight and we are going to receive this total weight here and now uh, this one is not required now we need to calculate uh, the shipping charge and we are going to calculate the shipping charge according to the total weight so if total weight is greater than zero see if total weight is greater than zero then we are going to calculate it otherwise if it is uh, uh, if total weight is not greater than zero and then we assume the shipping charges like zero only okay so see here total weight if total weight is greater than zero and if total weight uh, if total weight is greater than zero and total weight is less than or equal to 500 then we are going to pick our first uh, then we are going to uh, have uh, that uh to add shipping details and we are going to pick the first column and that will be uh, this one zero to 500 gram this one okay so this one will come if the weight is between zero to 500 gram okay so like this one in the same way i just copy this one will paste up here and here else if and if total weight is between 501 gram is greater than 500 gram 501 gram and is less than or equal to 1000 gram okay then we are going to pick up this one okay like this one so in the same way uh, we are going to do for other one as well one two three okay i think we are having three only okay uh, so after this one 501 then uh, for 1001 gram to 2000 then 2001 gram uh, 2001 gram to 5000 and uh, then uh, greater than 5001 gram okay 5001 gram and uh, this one okay so here uh, it will be uh, 1000 to 2000 gram will come up here after that uh, 2000 to 5000 gram will come up here after that above 5000 gram will come up here okay so uh, lastly one more we can add otherwise shipping charges must equal to zero only okay so now uh, we will check that how much shipping charges there must be 200 shipping charges like i have told you that for india it must come uh, under that one i'm going to kind of see check, see it must 700 grams so it must be 200 so let's see see 200 so that is correct okay so now we can check in our checkout page 
and hope that it will work fine see now uh, there are two products added one of 300 gram and one of 400 gram total 700 gram and i am going to check for india and uh, you can see shipping charge is, is correct and that is the 200 so 200 shipping charge is added to the subtotal 1050 and the total is grand total is 1250 so that is correct so we able to get the correct shipping charges for india and if we will check for australia uh, shipping charge is zero because we have not added the shipping charges for Australia so far uh, but we can do so and we can update uh, like uh, for Australia uh, we can do like 0 to 500 gram uh, it will be 500 INR and 1000 INR for 500 to 1000 then uh, so uh, we are going to update no no not like this uh, we can have the 200 then 400 then 600 then 800 then 1000 we will add like this okay so here it must be 400 gram as it is between 500 to 1000 gram so our weight is 700 gram so it must be 400 so let's see 400 gram gets added or not for Australia and here we can see the 400 gram gets added and its total price is now 1450 and for india it is 200 for australia it is 400 so it is uh, it is now calculating the right shipping charges weight wise shipping charges weight wise as well as the country it is considering so it is right but we need to send uh, this correct shipping charges to uh, while placing the order as well so once again uh, we are going to have the shipping charges right shipping charges here as well so here also we need to pass the total weight uh, at the time of order placement and uh, we need to check here the total weight we are already having so this total weight uh, we are going to send here as well like this uh, while placing the order now we are going to check uh, whether uh, we will place the uh the correct order with the correct shipping charges and the correct grand total so here i'm going to select the india and uh, with the shipping charges 200 and grand total is 1250 so cod order we're going to place let's see if it is correct or not let's see let's place 1250 okay so let's see the shipping charges 200 gets added or not so one two five zero this is the correct grand total okay so we want to see in uh, orders uh, module in admin panel as well uh, whether it is so it is fine here as well one two five zero i want to see the order details as well so one two five zero order, order total is fine and along with the shipping charges is also correct you can see the inr 200 shipping charge for this uh, order so that is correct that is 100 percent correct okay earlier on it is uh, just showing 100 for all the products but now it is calculating according to the weight okay so uh, correct uh, shipping charges uh, we able to uh, add for our order okay so uh, see same amount is going and we can check in email as well the email that we are sending uh, we can check there as well and you can see that in email as well we are sending the 200 shipping charges so that is also correct okay so uh, we can able to get it done okay so now uh, uh, we can integrate this one uh, uh, you you can integrate this one at your end as well and this is the shipping charges module for you and uh, you can integrate this complete module at your end and if you have any trouble you can surely contact me and now we can able to start with the PayPal in the next video uh, we are going to start with the PayPal okay so PayPal is only left uh, payment gateway oh, sorry more payment gateway we are going to do but uh, let's start uh, with the first payment gateway that we want to add here okay so that is the PayPal uh, going to see uh, the PayPal here and here is the PayPal so the PayPal payment gateway we are going to start from the next video and you can stay tuned for that okay and now uh, do subscribe and join the channel and to get the code uh, to get the personal attention uh, okay so that's all for now have a nice time goodbye